Newton was to a large extent, I believe, self-taught when he was in Cambridge. He learned his most sophisticated mathematics by reading books. Uh, not all that many books, but key books from other people, from Descartes, from Wallace. But he would also have attended some lectures in Cambridge, probably the lectures given by Isaac Barrow, who was Lucasian professor and based at Trinity College, which was Newton's own college. So he would certainly have known Barrow, may have been taught by him privately. We, we don't know very much about this. And some of his major discoveries were underway while he was already in Cambridge in, the six, in 1664. After that, he went back to Lincolnshire and spent several months there during the plague years. And there he was working alone and independently. Um, so how great an influence Barrow had on him, it's quite difficult to say. When Newton went back to Cambridge later, he would certainly have been in touch with Barrow again. And of course, he showed Barrow some of his early work when he wrote De Analisi. Barrow was one of the people that he showed it to. And he helped Barrow to edit some lectures in 1669. How much at that stage Newton was learning from Barrow and how much Barrow was learning from Newton is a very interesting question. Uh, certainly, I think you can see in Barrow's lectures possibly the influence of Newton by that stage, uh, that, that Newton had already overtaken Barrow. And I suspect that some of the material in the edited lectures actually came from Newton rather than the other way around. <laughs>